Hi, I'm Sister Charlene Ann, here to share my vocation story. It starts a long time ago. When I was three months old, my father and mother took me to see my great aunt, who was a Dominican sister. And during the course of that visit, she asked my dad if, and it was his aunt actually, if she could take me in to put me on the Blessed Mother altar. And I had my very own presentation. And he said, sure, nobody else was gonna be good enough anyway. And then the next thing that happened was shortly after that, he died of a ruptured appendix. And um, throughout my years of Catholic school, I always was attracted to religious life and was told this story on many of the visits, but I don't think it really made me join or anything like that. Um, and then when I went to high school here at Ferdinand in the academy, I just loved everything about it and thought about it some more at that point. And um, one uh, year, I think it was in my junior year of high school, I was in my home parish and uh, was waiting for a midnight mass to begin and felt a real strong call to be uh, a sister. And it, it kind of shook me a little bit because I wasn't really expecting this. It really felt like a call. Um, and I did say yes right then, but I was thinking later about perhaps the Marino sisters. My grandmother used to get their magazine and I was all taken up with uh, going to the missions. And so when I told my mother, who was uh, a widowed mother and never remarried, <laughs> she said, you want to go to Ferdinand, that's fine, but you're not going to marry, no. So I always laugh and say, that was my discernment. It comes in many ways. And um, later, and I did decide then to come to Ferdinand. And later I was at a, a workshop near the Mary Knowles uh, mother house and standing in their chapel and looking around, I thought I didn't make a mistake. I guess mother knew more than I did. Uh, and I've loved my life here. There have been ups and downs, but overall, it's been a wonderful life. And um, I hope other people who feel like they have a call will listen to it. Uh, it's just been great. My most difficult thing was knowing that mother wouldn't have grandchildren and that she really would have liked to have some, I think, but she never really gave me any trouble about it. And so I am an only child. I was going to be a first, I'm sure. So that's my story. <laughs>